So next, we will be discussing about plant cell. Similar to human body, plant also have different cells, tissue, and organization so they can survive. So in this slide, we have to know the function of sieve tube element, xylem vessel. In previous form, we learned about all this phloem and xylem. Phloem is a combination of sieve tube element plus companion cell. And xylem is made up of xylem vessel. So the function of phloem is to transport nutrients. What kind of nutrients? Nutrients from photosynthesis. So after photosynthesis, the plant will make their own food, right? After photosynthesis, they will produce sucrose, a type of organic material. So it has to transport from the leaf to whole plant. Right? So it relies on phloem to transport. Next will be xylem vessel is to transport water. So all right, let's look at a picture here. We have a xylem and then we have a phloem. This tube is C2 element, this one, okay? And then a companion cell. Can you see a cell having a shape like this? This will be the companion cell. So together they make up the phloem. In your syllabus, you need to know each of the structure that label here. Lah. So know the structure. So first we have the cuticle. The cuticle. Then un under the cuticle will be the upper epidermis. Moving down will be the palisade mesophyll cell and spongy mesophyll cell. Okay, let's look at palisade mesophyll cell first. Can you look at the shape of the cell? It's long, right? It's very, very packed. They arrange very, very closely together. Compared to spongy mesophyll cell, there's a lot of space between them, right? It's quite loosely packed. Lah. Okay, so present mesophyll cell having a shape like elongated shape. Lah. They pack very closely and inside them has a lot of chlorophyll. And spongy mesophyll cell also has a lot of chlorophyll. Lah. The chlorophyll is for photosynthesis. Then at the bottom of the leaf, you have the stomata. So stom stomata is a plural. Lah. You can also call it as stoma, controlled by a pair of gut cell and then another gut cell. Okay, gut cell can open and close, uh, depends on the situation. Easy way to remember for flow worm, uh, that's how I remember, uh, because flow worm, there's all there, and then transport food. Uh. Okay, so food, and then another one, xylem will be water. Uh. So for plant, it's either food and water only. Uh. When we have this xylem and flow, and then we have the lower epidermis here. Okay, this is another illustration of the leaf. Uh, elongated shape one is a palisade mesophyll cell and then this one or this is a spongy mesophyll. Carbon dioxide will be absorbed through the stomata. So carbon dioxide will go through this. Then after that, pass through the space here and get absorbed into the leaf. Lah. That's why spongy mesophyll have a lot of space between them. 